the presenters of the two named lectures deserve a big congratulations for their significant discoveries and achievements in hematology. The E. Donald Thomas Lecture was delivered by Dr. Philip Greenberg on the topic of the long road to develop adoptive therapy with T-cells that can effectively target AML and other malignancies. Dr. Greenberg's lab has been on a journey to identify leukemia antigens that were immunogenic and could be safely targeted by T-cells without injury to normal tissues. He presented his recent and promising findings. We are now working on ways to engineer cells that can survive and keep pace with leukemia. And that requires a lot of things. That requires creating proteins that overcome the inhibitory signals that T cells uh, get from leukemia uh, and providing co-stimulatory signals that help drive it, overcoming the death pathway signals that T cells get. And we're trying to convert that by making these fusion proteins into receptors that actually also actually enhance survival rather than provide death. Uh, and then trying to get a composite CD4 and CD8 response. So one of the things we hope to do is be able to make, with a single TCR, make a CD4 cell and a CD8 cell, and CD8 cells that can both see the leukemia. I think the future is enormously promising. I don't think there's any question that all these things are doable. It's not gonna be doable yet tomorrow, but it's not so far down the line anymore. We've, we've been doing this for decades, and. We're really, I mean, you can really see the light at the end of the tunnel. For the Ernest Boitler Lecture, Dr. Sriram Krishnaswamy and Jeffrey Weitz discussed blood coagulation from molecular mechanisms to the treatment of thrombosis. Krishnaswamy described how incorporation of factor 10A into prothrombinase complex modulates its specificity to promote thrombin generation, which informs novel strategies for attenuating this process. The secret to specificity really lies uh, uh, in the mechanisms, how proteins interact with each other. And uh, this is quite different from previous ideas that people had on how specificity is achieved. The other area is how these proteins interact with each other to make enzyme complexes. And the structural biology and biophysics is really the main approach that we've used to make novel advances in those areas. Dr. Weitz described how DOACs have transformed anticoagulation therapy and how the results of trials with factor 11 inhibitors provide new insights and pave the way for safer therapies. I presented some new data on a factor 11A directed antibody in the setting of knee replacement surgery, a proof of concept study that shows the value of factor 11 inhibition after surgery. That's not where we're going to go at the end of the day, but it does provide evidence that the factor 11 is a good target for new anticoagulants, and we'll see much more over the coming years.